So we have some very important news that we need to get to because this is going to mean massive changes across the board to people here in the United States and even abroad. We are just days away from these major changes. And the reason why I'm bringing you this is because this just broke. This just broke, this breaking news, because it was just reported, it was just announced just hours ago. Now, I'm gonna break down what's going on and how this is potentially going to impact millions and millions of people, not just here in the United States, but abroad as well. All I ask is if you can spend just two seconds, go ahead, hit that like button, and let's begin. So here's where things are starting to get very tricky. And this is why we are gonna see massive changes. Because what was just announced from the US Speaker of the House, Mike Johnson, he's floating a two-step measure to avert a government shutdown. The United States government is going to run out of funding on November 18th. So by the end of day on November 17th, which is just six days away, it has to happen by the end of day, business day on Friday. If they do not come up with a new agreement, millions of people are gonna lose their jobs. We're gonna see you know, many people lose a lot of what they have. For instance, you wanna to go to a national park, sorry, it will likely be closed down. You wanna to go to a museum, it could be shut down. You wanna just go and get a new social security card, sorry, you will have to wait. These are all things that are going to happen. Now, here's what I can tell you. According to Speaker Mike Johnson, he states that it was a very difficult task trying to come up with a government funding bill. And even though he introduced two different options, these are likely to pass, which means we are getting closer to the United States government shutting down, which means if you are over in Israel and you are hoping for additional funding, like $14.3 billion, it's not coming. If you are from Ukraine and you're hoping that the United States is gonna back you with $60 billion, it's not coming. Because what was announced in this bill doesn't include any funding for Israel or Ukraine. Look at this. It says, unlike ordinary continuing resolutions or CRs, that fund federal agencies for a specific period, the measure announced by Johnson, this is Speaker Mike Johnson, would fund some parts of the United States government until January 19th and others until February 2nd. House Republicans hope to pass the measure on Tuesday. Now here's what's happening. What we are coming up on is pretty much a holiday season. We have Thanksgiving and obviously we have Christmas. The, what happens is Congress goes home. They don't spend Christmas in Washington, D.C. They spend it in their home states, in their home districts, with their family, with their friends. And what Speaker Mike Johnson stated earlier today is that what he doesn't want to happen is for the House or the Senate to rush through a, an appropriations bill, rush through a, a huge, massive omnibus bill that nobody's going to read because they just want to get home to their family. So he's trying to make it easy to pass a bill. Well, here's where things are somewhat complicated. Many Republicans wanted to see massive spending cuts to the tune of 30%. He didn't do that. What he proposed was let's let's have a, a continuing resolution for certain certain aspects of the government for uh, or until January 19th. For others, it was going to be February 2nd. Okay, so a little bit longer, a couple weeks. And the reason for that is because that would give uh, Democrats a little more time to try and negotiate. Well, here's what's happening now. Speaker Mike Johnson stated that if Democrats do not want to pass these bills, that's fine. But the House is going to pass them. So this is the only option for Democrats to keep the federal government open. Because if these bills don't pass, then Speaker Mike Johnson and the House of Representatives, they're going to push a new bill through. That's going to mean government funding is going to stay level. Okay, So it's not going to go up. Even though we've seen additional increases for inflation, it's not going to go up. It's going to stay where it is right now, except it's actually going to go down. We're going to see a 1% 1 spending cut across the board. That is what he stated. Now, I want to be very clear on this. Democrats control the, the Senate and the presidency. The Republicans only control the House. So even though the House of Representatives may pass this bill and it would see a 1% spending cut across the board, 
Democrats could just say, no, we're not going to pass it. We're not even going to vote for it because President Biden would veto that bill anyway. So what this means is that there's a higher chance that the United States government is going to shut down, even if it's temporarily, even if it's for one week, two weeks, three weeks. But according to Goldman Sachs, they are now saying that for every week that the United States government shuts down, our GDP drops by 0.2%. So if we are uh, shut down for three weeks, our GDP for that quarter would drop by 0.6%. So what does this mean? If our GDP drops and our economy is starting to struggle, there's going to be no funding for Ukraine. There's going to be no funding for Israel. There's going to be less funding for things like Social Security, SNAP benefits, student loans, affordable housing, things like that. Also, we know President Biden has stated that we have to, and many experts have been preaching this for years, is that we have to spend more money on our electrical grid. That we are not spending enough money. It's outdated. It needs to be revamped. So, my worry is that if we do see a government shutdown, it might not just be for a couple days. It could likely be for two to three weeks, maybe longer. Consider this. The United States House of Representatives went without a Speaker of the House, one of the most important people in the House, okay, and one of the most important people in line for the presidency. They went without this person for an entire month. So do I think this is going to be an easy you know, fix, an easy resolution? No. There's probably going to be a lot of problems. But wanted to bring this to your attention because I want you to be prepared. So that's what we know at this time. As always, as I know more, I promise I'll come back on and share all the latest news and updates, but that is what we know as of right now. So again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing. I'll see you guys on the next one.